For a bitterly cold vacuum, space is getting pretty hot these days. Stop. Go Falcon, go Dragon, Godspeed. Right, folks, we are headed to space. A perfect storm of crucial technical advances, commercialization, and entrepreneurial initiative in the space sector is upon us. Ambitious ventures that would have been infeasible just a decade ago are now flourishing. This is a thrilling time to look to the heavens for progress and profit. And while billionaires transfix the public with rivalries over who will be the first to vacation on the moon or retire on Mars, nimble, rapidly growing startups are already building the underlying infrastructure of this new commercial space age. At Initialized, we believe in investing in young rock star talent from existing space industry incumbents. People who are attacking hairy problems with the fresh, more nimble approaches of true disruptors. A great example of this is Kahan Space, a startup we invested in last year. As we all know, the number of satellites in orbit is growing at an exponential pace. Low Earth orbit is becoming more crowded every month and with it, an increasing risk of satellites colliding with each other. Kahan is a team of NASA and Jet Propulsion Laboratory veterans on a mission to build the source of truth of what satellites and pieces of debris are in low Earth orbit and where they are at all times. They're combining publicly available data from organizations such as Space Force with even higher resolution data from all of their customers' satellites. Think of Kahan as providing situational awareness similar to that of the FAA, but in space. They're doing the important and valuable work of enabling spacecraft to operate safely in low Earth orbit. Without such a service, the results could be cataclysmic. Kahan not only tracks everything in orbit, they also automatically notify customers of potential collisions and provide trajectory adjustments to avoid them. The service will also enable spacecraft to locate and dock with each other, enabling robotic in-orbit refueling. Many satellites look back at Earth, providing data and imagery to industries from tech to energy to finance. But the usefulness of that data and imagery is often limited by resolution constraints. Albedo, a startup founded by Lockheed Martin and Meta alum, and in whom we invested early last year, is on its way to produce really, really high resolution imagery of Earth from space. They'll deliver 10 centimeter visible image resolution in a marketplace plateaued at 30 centimeter and offer two meter resolution thermal imaging to boot. But they're not just setting out to disrupt the industry on the hardware front. They're developing a SaaS style self-service user experience that will enable customers to task, pay for, and receive imagery over hours, not days, and without having to negotiate with sales reps or other slow humans. Albedo's customers will be able to image high value crops weekly to monitor their health, image railroad tracks for obstruction risk, thermally image power plants to improve the accuracy of emissions reporting, monitor wildfires, survey natural disasters, and even conduct space-based journalism. Albedo will be the provider of high resolution imagery of the earth but with the benefits and coverage possible only from space. This is a great team doing really important and groundbreaking work and we're really proud to be part of their journey. Our most recent space sector investment will sound a bit futuristic. Let's unpack it together. Platinum Group Metals, or PGMs, are a family of metals valued for their wide range of industrial, medical, and electronic applications. They play significant roles in many of the products and technologies we rely upon daily. They're among the rarest minerals in the Earth's crust. They're very valuable, and demand will only increase as we continue to make new medical advances, work to tame emissions, and electrify our economy. There's a place where PGMs are believed to occur in concentrations up to 20 times greater than the most productive mines on Earth, and that's in some PGM-rich near-Earth asteroids. Our latest space-related portfolio company, Astroforge, was founded this year by SpaceX and Virgin Galactic veterans. Their mission is to send extremely economical, autonomous spacecraft to near-Earth objects rich in PGMs. There they will land, collect PGM-rich ore, refine it in situ using proprietary zero-G refining technology, then return the metals to the Earth, impacting in a test range in the Utah desert. As ambitious as the approach sounds, we were immensely impressed by Astroforge's conservative and rigorous approach, very reminiscent of what got SpaceX from IDEA to the International Space Station. NASA and the Japanese space program have already conducted three research missions with similar profiles without the refining. 
While currently focused on platinum and its close cousins, the AstroForge solution is entirely adaptable, even mid-mission, to virtually any other valuable target minerals near-Earth objects have to offer. We're excited to take you with us on this journey of the commercialization of space. As stellar founders, the titans of tomorrow defy gravity to deliver on the unprecedented opportunities beyond Earth.